Hi. Now in this question, we've got to find the real roots of the equation 3 divided by y to the power 4 minus 10 divided by y squared minus 8 equals 0. So, as usual, if you'd like to uh, give this a go, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can check your work solution with mine. OK, so let's see how you got on if you gave this a go. So first of all, what I want to do is we'll just copy down the, equa uh, the equation. We've got 3 divided by y to the power 4 then minus 10 divided by y squared minus 8 equals 0. And what I'd want to do first of all is get rid of these fractions here in the denominators. and best way of doing this is to multiply each term by y to the power 4. So if I multiply the first term by y to the power 4, then we're just going to get 3. If I multiply this term by y to the power 4, then y squared into y to the power 4 just goes y squared times. So I'm going to end up with minus 10y squared. And then we have this term, minus 8. If we multiply that by y to the power 4, we get minus 8y to the power 4. And multiplying 0 by y to the power 4 gives us 0. So, as you can see, I've now got rid of the fractions here. And what I notice is that I've got a quadratic in y squared. If you can't see this at the moment, it will become clearer a few lines down. What I'm going to do is multiply each of the terms by negative 1. So we'll start with this one though, that will give us plus 8y to the power 4. Then we'll take this one, multiply this by minus 1 and you get plus 10y squared. And then multiply this term by minus 1, you get minus 3. And if you multiply 0 by minus 1, well, still stays a 0. And I did say that this is a quadratic in y squared because what you can do is change this to 8 times y squared. And that y squared is squared again. y squared all to the power 2 is y to the power 4. And then you've got plus 10y squared. And then you've got minus 3 equals 0. And this is a quadratic equation in y squared. Some of you might want to just give y squared a letter. You might want to call it, say, t. So you'd have 8t squared plus 10t minus 3 equals 0. I'll leave it up to you. But if we've got to solve this quadratic equation, then I would want to see if it factorizes, or I could use the quadratic equation. I'm going to go for factorizing, okay, and I can see that we could have two brackets here, okay, equals zero, and in the front here I'd have 4y squared, and over here I'd have 2y squared. I can see that's going to give me 8y to the power 4. And then for the minus 3, I'm going to have minus 1 here and plus 3 here. And I can see that now I'm going to get, if I expand it, 8y to the power 4. And then I get 12y squared minus 2y squared. That's the 10y squared. And minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. OK. Next, we would put each of these factors equal to 0. So therefore we've got 4y squared minus 1 equals 0 or the second factor 2y squared plus 3. That would equal 0. Okay now what we're going to do is we're going to look at each equation separately. So let's start then with this first one. That is when 4y squared minus 1 equals 0, this first one here. And there's two ways that spring to mind that we could do with this. First of all, I can see that this factorizes. It's the difference of two squares. This is the square of 2y, 
and this is the square of 1 and we've got a difference between them okay the minus here so this factorizes we could have 2y plus 1 multiplied by 2y minus 1 and that equals 0 and that would lead to each of these two factors equaling 0 so therefore 2y plus 1 would equal 0 or the second factor 2y minus 1 would equal 0 and if I solve each of these equations you can see that with this one if I subtract 1 from both sides 2y would equal minus 1 and then if I divide by 2 y would equal minus a half and with this one if I add 1 to both sides 2y would equal 1 then divide by 2 y would equal and with this one if I add 1 to both sides, 2y would equal 1, and then divide by 2, y would equal 1 half. Now, you don't have to do it this way. You don't have to do the difference of two squares. With something like this, what I could have done, I'll just do it down here, okay? I could have just added 1 to both sides, okay? So we would have 4y squared equals 1. Divide both sides by 4 and you end up with y squared equaling a quarter. You then have to take the square root of both sides and here you've got to be careful because it's going to be plus or minus the square root of one quarter. And then you can square root the top and square root the bottom leading to y equals plus or minus the square root of 1 is 1 and the square root of 4 is 2 so you get y equals plus or minus a half same as what we've got here and these are real solutions okay they exist now we've got the other equation here to solve so let's just put down here when 2y squared plus 3 equals 0 and for this one I can't factorize it so what I'm going to do is do a method like this I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides so I get y squared I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides so I therefore have I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, so I'd have 2y squared equals minus 3. And then if I divide by 2, I end up with y squared equaling minus 3 over 2. Now, if I square root both sides, y would equal plus or minus the square root of minus 3 over 2. And the point about this is you can't square root a negative number and get a real answer okay a real root it doesn't exist there's no solution if you tried this on your calculator you would most probably find then it gives you error or maths error something like that okay so there's what we call no real solution we'll just write that in here anyway okay so what are the real roots the real solutions to our equation well they're up here we've got y equals plus or minus one half. Okay, 